Hi hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little Easter basket. It would be fabulous and would hold quite a few little treats in there. Um, it's super easy to do, so let's get started. Well, I'm going to use my envelope punch board. This is a fabulous tool that Stampin' Up! carries and it makes all different sizes of envelopes. Um, all these different sizes and, and you can do a lot with them just with designer series papers or printed papers, magazine pages, just to make some envelopes for fun. But today I'm going to show you how to make that box. And to begin with, we're gonna start with a piece of designer series paper or printed paper. This is an eight by eight square. And I'm gonna line this up at the two inch mark up here on my envelope punch board, punch it down, and then get into the groove and score it. It doesn't come all the way to the end, but that's all right, because we'll catch up with it, it um, when we flip this paper around. Then I'm going to scoot it down to the five inch mark and punch and score. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and churn my paper and I'm just going to line up this little pointer here with that score line and punch and score on that one. And then scoot it down to line up with this score line and punch and score on that one. Oop, make sure you get in the groove. And then churn my paper and do that on all four sides. So always lining it up with the score line going that way and then scoot it down to the score line going that way and then churn it and scoot it down again and you end up oh here I'm going to I'm going to round these corners it's a corner rounder on the other side of this envelope punch board so you can make your corners rounded, which is awesome. I wasn't sure how this was going to work because that flower prints on there, but I see it's going to be diagonal, so it's going to be just fine. Okay, so once you have this piece done, what you're going to do is you're going to take a scissor and you're going to cut along the score line on the bigger flap up to there on both sides. And then you have to decide which side you want to be the outside of your basket and which you want the inside to be. So I'm gonna make this the inside and this print will be the outside. So I'm gonna fold these little ones back on both sides and I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of snail to them and fold them back. And then I'm going to flip this over and one of the things I'm gonna do before I get started here is I'm gonna fold these in these bigger flaps in, and I'm gonna line these up because I'm gonna punch a hole and I want it to go through both layers so that when I tie my ribbon, it works better. So go ahead, set your hole up. I've got a half inch punch here. Punch a hole for my handle. And then I'm going to bring these pieces in. And you really just wanna fold on all your score lines. Once you've done that, I am going to add a little adhesive to this flap, and this is actually gonna come up and go on the outside. You can go on the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter. It's really in how you want your basket to look. But I kind of liked it with this printed paper to have the flowers all going different ways. And then you're just gonna turn it around and do the same thing on this side. like that. There you have it. Super easy to do and it looks adorable with those flaps folded over. It's kind of like there's a little towel or something in there. Then you're just going to fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. These would be great for May Day baskets, Easter baskets, just a fun little birthday gift and tie that off and you've got a great little basket. If you go ahead and click the link and visit my website, I'll have a PDF up there with all the measurements and exactly how to do it. So thank you and I hope you have a great day.